uh, and good morning. Uh, as promised, uh, I will continue my second, uh, my third video. Okay, so this time uh, continues from the first uh, enrichment that I did before. So today I want to discuss with you uh, our second session for arrangement process. Okay, so this this section is really important uh, for you to understand because this one uh, is a core uh, in such a clay product. Okay, so today uh, in the, this morning uh, we need to discuss about how uh, fire bond significantly affect the quality of pores for structural clay products. Okay, I think in your notes or maybe you need to put somewhere, uh, please uh, make sure that you totally understand uh, about this, this topic. Okay, uh, the first question, how fire bond significantly affect the quality of pore for structural clay products? Okay, in this case, before we start, okay, you should understand uh, what is the fired bond means? Okay, I should give credit to these three students. Okay, actually, uh, it's your seniors last year. Uh, they did this kind of presentation, but for me, uh, I want to reuse back this slide because I think it's important for you to understand how fired bond is formed during, uh, not during, after completing the sintering or firing process. Okay. How fire bond is formed? Okay, fire bond is formed. You should follow the arrow here. Okay, fire bond is formed is through uh, vitrification process. Okay, what is the meaning of vitrification? Okay, this one is your task to identify what is the definition of vitrification. Okay, what material that helps in order to improve the vitrification process? in uh, publication of structural clay products okay i give you tips okay uh, normally flux flux material in ceramics processing play important role in form uh, information of vitrification process okay so please under, uh, please find out the definition of vitrification okay from this uh, vitrification process they will go to structural clay powder melt. So means that when you mix the ceramics powder A and ceramics powder B, and then when you fire it, okay, let's say 1,400, uh, first it will go through first the vitrification process. And then from vitrification process, these ceramic powders will melt, okay, as shown in the second box. And then when, when this ceramic uh, particle melt it will produce a molten state condition okay molten state condition and it will diffuse with each other as shown in the third box and when this diffusion process uh, complete uh, the particle tends to stick uh, even uh, cooling process okay bermaksud uh, first, kita dah go through vitrification process uh, when you mix ceramic A and ceramic B and then when you fire the, this sample, uh, it will melt and produce the molten state and will diffuse each other and then when the diffusion process is completed during the cooling uh, process in, in the oven, this particle will stick together and then when stick together, over the time until the room temperature cooling time, okay, cooling down, uh, this uh, bonding, this uh, fire bonding will solidify, okay, and then when it solidify, it will form uh, glass bonding state, uh, different type of fire bonding state, and then when this bonding solidify, it will form the fire fired bond okay i do remind to you please take note this process carefully okay you know you must understand how to explain uh, how the fired bomb uh, fired bond is formed during uh, firing or 
sintering process of the structural clay products okay actually this slide and this slide have connection okay actually this fired one slide and this slide actually the i mean the this one is simple flow chart okay this one is the detailed explanation okay that's why i put here important okay you must understand why i why, why i say this important because number one this one the 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 core of the structural clay product as i mentioned earlier number two is this question is frequently asked uh, during test quizzes and also the final exam and this question almost every year come up but in different way okay my tip is is that once you understand these processes regardless of the question that might be asked to you you can answer it successfully okay so please understand this process that's why i put again i stress again this is really really important process okay this one the illustration okay the mechanism of forming of fired fired pond okay this one i think this illustration i already explained in the in the previous video but this one uh, the mechanism involved during this one the molten state diffuse each other okay when melt molten state stick and also solidify okay in this diagram schematic diagram okay the number here representing the process of the mechanism in order to produce the fired point first when you when this ceramic particle in the melt in the molten state condition first it will go through the uh, surface diffusion so it means that it will diffuse first at the surface of the particles and then from this surface it will go through the inside okay as you should as you can see here it will go through inside and it will diffuse into the lattice structure of the uh, material okay i think you are you learn it in in the first year ebb113 uh, about lattice lattice uh, structure like 110 and others okay and then this one the third one is the vapor uh, transport uh, number four is grain boundary with diffusion and again uh, lattice diffusion from the grain boundary and then six is the plastic flow by dislocation motion okay so in this case uh, for me this one just want to explain in brief about the mechanism as i mentioned earlier this process you must understand okay in order to explain the mechanism how the fired bond is is formed okay this one uh, i also want to credit your seniors also i use their slide okay they'll uh, explain the formation of pore from fired bond okay formation of pores from fired bonds okay uh, i think i already mentioned in my first slide okay when you fired the structural clay product definitely it will produce the porosity because the ceramic particle uh, will diffuse and then i think i give you illustration here okay here when these four particles uh, is sintered it will diffuse its other and produce the bonding between the particles when these four ceramic particle bond each other at the center you will produce the pore okay same also goes here okay uh, how the pore is formed okay imagine uh, you you have uh, two different size of ceramic powder ceramic powder a and ceramic powder b and then when you heat it okay the molten state will be appear first on the surface of the on the granules okay actually it's not totally melt like you know kalau kamu pernah tengok how they making the steel okay most of the before you make before you cooling you, you akan nampak uh, you know liquid berwarna merah yang high temperature it's not like that okay when you uh, about ceramics 
when the molten state actually is appear first on the on the surface more longer you fire the sample uh, the percentage of the molten state is much higher okay in this case when ceramic particle a and b you heat it uh, it will produce the molten state on the surface of the granules we call uh, we call it as a fusing uh, fusing temperature and when you prolong the the sintering or firing uh, time okay it will diffuse okay uh, and produce fusion of molten area or we call it as a vitreous okay please take note about this term in my lecture note i mentioned two type of terms number one is vitreous number two is semi vitreous okay in this one what how we call it uh, why we call it the vitreous because number one all the surface has totally convert into the molten state and then when you prolong the firing temperature at until a certain period of time and then you cool it to room temperature inside the inside the furnace so when you cool it uh, this one will solidify and then the the fire bond is formed and then you can see uh, this small particle of ceramic will be bound with the larger size of ceramic particles when this ceramic particle is combined it will produce the pore in between the the particles okay this one uh, i want I, I extract some information from my lecture notes okay the properties of the clay products after forming the fired fired bond okay of course as i mentioned earlier when you forming more fired bond in the structural clay product it will definitely affect the mechanical strength in this particular case when you increase the fired bond formation in the in the product it will increase the high compressive strength okay and then uh, when you produce the fire bond inside the such clay product you uh, you will obtain a high resistance to frost and and freezing okay why because due to the presence of many small pore in the clay clay regions okay how why we call this one a high resistance to frost and freezing because this small pores okay uh mana saya nak kata okay imagine you are the uh, you know one cube of ice okay when you touch the surface and then you touch another side of the ice cube you can feel your hand is very cold okay but however let's say imagine the ice cube you have something like sponge structure type okay imagine it's still ice cube but the structure is similar with the sponge structure type what happened when you touch one side of the surface of and also another side of the surface you can feel that uh, you you couldn't feel uh, i mean you takkan rasa sesejuk dengan when you touch okay the total ice cube without pore structure okay so this is very important especially when you use the structural clay products in european country that have uh, winter season okay when you have the winter season uh, so in this case uh, below the winter when when you produce uh, when let's say okay i give you a simple example kebanyakan rumah di europe kalau kamu tengok rumah-rumah lama seperti di holland dan sebagainya rumah mereka made from bricks but however when you cross section uh, when you cut the bricks actually inside that there has a, a pore structure a lot of pore structure okay when compared to with malaysia okay when malaysia when you cut cross section the bricks most of them is quite dense kenapa di europe dia perlukan banyak pore structure dalam bricks sebab this pore dia akan resist the orang kata suhu yang sejuk di luar supaya tidak meresap ke dalam 
Okay, number three is that bound pore water, that is water between clay and mineral particle will be expelled. Okay, this one like as I mentioned, uh, bila you guna ni, you boleh buat sebagai filter. Okay, that's why dalam porous ceramic structure, uh, orang banyak guna sebagai uh, water purification, chemical purification. Death has a science behind that. Okay. In this case, crystal bound water has to escape during biscuit or single fire. Okay, pore within will decrease in in size. Fire bond, uh, sorry, fire bonds bind the molecules of the ceramic product together. Okay, in this case, uh, when you increase the temperature, okay, for example, you you let's say you you compare product A and product B. You bakar pada suhu 800 produk A and then you bakar uh, 1400 pada produk B. What happened to the pore porosity? Even with the same formulation, okay, with the same formulation of the product, when you fire in different firing temperature, you will found that, okay, let's say when you fire at 800 degree, the porosity of, the amount of porosity is much higher than B. And also the pore size, uh, of A is much higher than B because when you prolong the temperature, uh, sorry, when you increase the temperature, definitely more uh, fire bond occurred. But again, in this case, uh, the melting temperature of the raw material itself play important role. Okay, so uh, yeah, any question you want to ask? Okay, please post. Uh, your question into my padlet again i want to stress out this section is very very important so i'm i do suggest you should take note somewhere uh, please pay attention on this section if you don't uh, if you don't understand uh, feel free to ask me okay so hopefully you learn something uh, from this video and wait for my next next video thank you